When I look at this, I feel kind of heartbroken, like, because there's a child who's, like, starving and he has a bowl. And then for this one, it's a dad just standing there, like he was probably being taken. I think the person who took this picture was running away when this happened, and they took the picture at the last second. You know, there is the power of the image, and, and I believe by handling the material and looking at those images of those victims that it just reaches home more and it makes more of a personal meaning and connection to what they're learning. In this photo analysis, what we're going to do is you're gonna, you are going to put yourself in the photo that you have chosen. The idea for this project came from a trip I took to Germany in 2012 to Dachau. I took a visit to that concentration camp and I was very moved by my experience there and as a as a graphic artist as well, I felt that I needed to visualize, put that image of what I was feeling through my experience into some kind of art form. And so for some reason I thought of a triptych. And so when I got home, I got all black and white papers and I tore them apart and put, put it together and, and I felt really good about it. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if our children could express how they felt about something they were learning. And I found out that the fifth graders would start learning about the Holocaust through the book Number of the Stars. Number of the Stars is about when the Germans invade Denmark and the Nazis try to capture the Jews and relocate them. And the people of Denmark are trying to prevent that from happening, so they try to smuggle Jews across the sea to Sweden. Sounds can indicate something good or bad. So look at your picture and what are some of the things you hear? Projects is helping us visualize the story because it's like bringing us into like the textures of the story and what it was like to be there. First, we went on the computers and picked out different pictures. And we also had this worksheet that we would write all the five senses. It, to me, it wasn't just a matter of taking photographs of the actual Holocaust and just tearing them out and putting them on a triptych base and making a pretty art project, so to speak. It was about analyzing those photographs and putting themselves in the picture and making a connection to a real part of tragic history that had happened. It's personal connections. What you felt in here when you read it. We took our pictures and ripped out what we wanted to paste onto our, um, our piece of paper. And then we took pictures of our faces and then we glued that onto the cover. That was a big part of this project, putting the photographs on the outside. Um, at one point I had to decide, well, what are the children going to put on the outside? Are they going to select for more photos from a photo bank? And then it just occurred to me one weekend, their faces. Because when I saw their faces in the computer lab as they were looking at those photographs, and I realized what they were seeing for the first time as fifth graders was, was very powerful, their faces. So I thought, yes, their face on the front of the triptych, they're opening up. It, it just was so right. It was what it was all about. I think it was an important project because it helped lots of people understand the sadness and all the stuff that these people had to go through. They didn't have freedom and they, like people just, they were taken by soldiers and they, they got thrown in a jail and they made them, and then they made them work like really hard and then once you were finished with them, they would kill you. I've taught this book several times at seven diff several different grade levels and it's gotten them into a deeper understanding of what it would mean to live during that time. So they had a better connection to their, their feelings and their emotions about the book. I know it's successful when the students feel good about what they've learned and what they've done and they can't wait to get their projects back and they couldn't wait to read the next chapter and to actually construct the uh, triptychs. I really believe that they will remember their triptychs for a very long time. And 
thereby remembering the Holocaust.